Hey everybody, we are doing another episode of Joel Cupcake Unedited. What is up? Today we are talking about Tiger King, murder, mayhem, mystery, gay seduction, meth, cults, fucking more meth, shit that makes you want to fucking drink a lot. Fucking tigers, chimps, monkeys, elephants, rednecks, lots of rednecks. Holy shit. So many rednecks. Uh, I, I can't even begin to tell you. It just popped up on my feed. A bunch of friends were like, yo, it's Tiger King. Check it out. Joe Exotic this, Joe Exotic that. Uh, and next thing I know, my uh, Twitter name's Joel Exotic. So it is absolute insanity if you're a fan of like the netflix documentaries and all the stuff they're doing it is i can't even i just i can't it's incredible just check it out check it out hell i have new facial hair inspired by that and the fact that all my bros are uh rocking the mustache uh, i didn't want to go full mustache i ain't never done this uh you know motorhead look before so uh rock and roll brother but Tiger King, oh, oh my, where to even start? Yeah, I mean, first off, I don't think we should free Joe Exotic. You know what I mean? Joe Exotic should stay in jail. He is a bad person. Carol is a terrible person. And Doc is, well, he's a pervert among other things. But yeah, he is not a great dude either. Um, lots of cute animals, lots of crazy shit going on. If you are looking for a show that just makes you sit here and go, man, my life is insane because of the coronavirus. And you want something that makes you feel like your life isn't insane, then watch Tiger King. Because let me tell you, you don't know what insane is until you've watched that show. There's government collusion. There's, there's all sorts of questionable shit. There's holes in the story. Uh, Jeff Lowe apparently told one of the websites that there's another episode coming out. So I'm assuming that means there's been such a demand and so many people talking about it and stuff. Something's going on with Joe or PETA or who knows what. We're getting another episode. Yes. Cannot wait. Give it to me. But yes, Carol. She did it. She killed her husband. She was way too nonchalant, okay? The whole, like, comment about covering them in salmon oil or whatever. It's the only way to get a tiger to eat a person. The jokes about the meat grinder. There was, like, no tears shown. She ends up with this other guy. And the first guy's, or the second guy's money. And just is able to just, like, make Joe's life miserable. Because she has so much money and she rubs elbows with all those nasty politicians. I don't trust her. Do not trust her at all check the septic tank fbi check it anyways yeah uh doc antle cares about animals cares about his own ego a whole lot more joe's probably the only one in the beginning i would say in my opinion that actually cares about animals and is doing the right well i shouldn't say the right thing that's not true but he's doing trying to be noble you know he cares about them and then he gets wrapped up in being Joe Exotic and all his horse shit. And then he realizes that they're better for money than they are for a passion or his personal pleasure or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, the sh you know, if, if, if you're a big animal rights person, you don't like animal cruelty, you can't take a lot of wanton violence and foul language and gay men from Ohio, then don't watch the show. It's not for you. But if you can put up with all that stuff, I mean, it's just like snowball effect. Like, what is going on? That didn't happen. Oh, now this happened. Oh, now that happened. And let's talk about the wire on the roof. Does that ever even get explained? You assume it's the government. But, I mean, like, you know, Carol paid the government to investigate him because all the, the death threat things and all that, like, you know, there's more going on here. There's some shady shit, whether it's he's gay, whether it's he has a voice that they don't like he's using, 
whether they wanted him to flip on like Doc and all these other people that he flipped on once he was in prison, whether it was, you know, whatever, more than just like, you paid for your campaign with this, that, the other thing. You know what I mean? They went after that man, you know? So he's a victim of his own ego, but there's something going on, something going on. And, <clears throat> you know, John Rinky, the guy with no legs. Yeah, there's a guy with no legs in the show and a lady missing an arm because it got eaten by a fucking tiger. Holy shit. You know, the guy with no legs, why, what the fuck wasn't he interviewed? What the living shit is going on? And that original, like, reality show producers, who knows who burned what down? Who knows who lit the shit on fire? Who knows if it was PETA, if it was Joe himself, if it was the reality show guy? Who the shit knows? I don't know. We'll probably never find that piece of information out. But, you know what? It makes the story that much more interesting. Oh, yeah, I loved it. Trina and I, we binged watched that shit. Holy moly. The two husband thing, and then apparently neither of them were gay, and Joe seduced them with math. I think that's a little, a little wonky. I think there's some bullshit going on there. But, hey, that's just my opinion. So, don't take my word for it. Check it out. If you are looking for something to pass the time during this pandemic, we all got plenty of time. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Watch Tiger King. Check it out. Maybe you agree Joe Exotic should be freed. Maybe you agree he shouldn't. All I will tell you is his music videos fucking rock. You know, his respect for the animals. The first couple episodes of the series fucking rock. You know, the way his own ego dr fucking just drives him down a rabbit hole and he's poked and prodded by his arch nemesis, Carol, who killed her fucking husband. You know, and then Jeff comes along and just like feeds his bullshit. And like, this whole thing was a fucking setup, in my opinion. And you know what? Joe's in there and he's going to take everybody down with him. And that. I can respect that, Joe. So you're never going to see this, but my hat is off to you, brother. Let me tell you something. You know, found out after the fact, Joe hosted some wrestling matches on his property. I have some friends that have met him. I have friends that have been to the GW Zoo. You know, that was a big deal. Found out that that asshole Doc, his tiger's compound, has been raided twice since the filming of that. And they're still open. He doesn't think the coronavirus can affect him or his followers or visitors or whatever. So he is staying open. I mean, he's a cult leader and a pedophile. And he's poly everything. I don't f even fucking know what to say. But that man is a piece of work. The part where he bays with an elephant was like, cool. I was like, damn, like that's a bond right there. But at the end of the day, no. Just, I can't with that guy. I can't, I just, I can't. And James, the rat, oh man, he is a rat. He is on the hook for so many fucking things. I guarantee you there's more to that motherfucker than what meets the eye. <clears throat> um, covered just about everybody. Only person I actually feel bad for is the guy with no legs. You know, it was a job. He cared about the animals. He cared about Joe. Um, and he didn't even get to, like, say his piece at the end. It cost him his marriage. It cost him all this stuff. And he got absolutely nothing out of it, you know, other than his spotlight here on the fucking Netflix special. Um, yeah. Insane. Insane. I'm glad Joe is flipping on people. I don't agree with PETA. I mean, there's other things to do, but, like, the FDA and the Fish and Wildlife Administration, like... They don't have enough power as it is. You know, certain laws are not being enforced well enough. That's why that whole show even exists. How do private zoos happen where you just randomly have exotic animals? And there's not the government sniffing around making sure it's up to FDA standards. Especially if you're having kids come out and pet and interact with these animals. There's parts of the story that aren't being told. Uh, I know there's some summaries on YouTube of his history and the story and his licenses. Uh, I am definitely going to check that out because 
for some god awful reason, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Bait, line, sinker. Hooked. Tiger King. Fucking watch it, man. Please. You know, Joe's just a man doing what he loves. And in some weird, weird redneck sense, I can respect that. You know, there's a lot of views about him inappropriately representing the trans culture and, you know, people who want to be married to multiple spouse and all this shit. And it's like, don't make it about that. He's a gay guy who likes tigers and occasionally does meth. And his life is fucking insane and is a goddamn train wreck. I, I got nothing other than that. I mean, holy crap. Every episode was just, you're like, this can't be any more crazy. Is this story even real? And then most of it is real and it gets more crazy. You know, I just, that's it. I got, I don't got too much more else to add, bro. Like, check it out. Tiger King, Joe Exotic, hit me on Twitter, Joel Exotic. Everyone that's been peeping these, thank you. I'm trying to get better. No speech, no bullshit. Just me talking, man. Saying what's on my fucking mind. Uh, I did a first few episodes were serious. Now I got this one. Uh, my next one's going to be kind of like my history. You know, just my life story. Well, not my life story. That's more than 15-ish minutes. But, you know, kind of how I got into music, how I got into the industry, um, maybe why I think I have a platform. I don't like to like act like I have a platform. Like, I know people listen to what I say. Sometimes I don't know why. Um, can I do an episode about that coming up? Um, the website of people that have been affected by the COVID stuff should be up um, very, very soon. I'm putting the final touches on that. Um, Frank Finelli's for the Nomad fundraiser is like over $26,000 raised for some disenfranchised people that I call friends and family and that like a lot of us rely on your favorite bands rely on uh, I know I already talked about that once check it out again uh, we got another 30 days of quarantine you know my first response to you is if you're upset about that watch Tiger King you won't be fucking disappointed. You know, uh, beyond that, Netflix just added a shit ton of movies. Disney Plus has uh, Onward and a bunch more stuff that they added. Uh, check it out. Be sane. Work out. Lift weights. Walk your animals. Do whatever you can. That's safe. That's not you being outside. We will get through this together. We just have to practice social distancing, okay? So let's do it. So, uh, um, yeah. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't. Like I just mentioned, my next video is going to kind of be like the history of me, uh, why I'm called Joel Cupcake. I know a lot of you don't know that story, and a lot of people don't know why I've been involved in music for 15 years, what I love about it, um, the story of how I started. Um, I know there's like one other YouTube interview out there with me somewhere that has it on it, that has all that info. Um, it's old. Not a lot of people would even know where to find it anymore unless it's sent to you. So uh, I will definitely try to dig that link up and post it on my Facebook at some point in time coming up. So be on the lookout for that. Um, episode after that, um, my friend Maxime from uh, Canada kind of asked about talking about the difference between like how easy it was to like, not easy, but like, the differences between being a big band in the MySpace days and then now, what the differences are, how to make it, how to get noticed, like just kind of the flow of things, how things are different. So I think I might kind of wrap all that into an episode just kind of about like how the times have changed over the last 10 to 15 years, in my opinion, of course, in the industry. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I got anything else to say. Uh, I hope you all like my new facial hair haven't rocked this one before like I said I've done the stash most of you gave me pretty bad feedback <clears throat> Trina definitely hates it so not not doing that again um I was gonna do the full mutton chops that might be next we'll see we'll see how I feel I don't know 
Rock and roll, baby. It's been another episode of At Joel Cupcake Unedited. Thanks for tuning in.